used to not do videos of myself walking and talking too much because it was so hard for me to walk um, with, and breathe at the same time and all that. As you can see, I'm sweating, but there's a lot of, a little bit of cloud cover uh, right now and it's a little cool. So um, this is really nice and it's kind of a, uh, not as steep of a trail. We're on our way to Mount Islip. Danielle, my buddy's back there kind of taking her time. So she told me to go ahead. So I'm just kind of walking on this path. It's a very gentle, easy ascent. Um, again, we're hiking to Mount Islip from Crystal Lake area and it's a beautiful day. Thankfully, there is some cloud cover because it was getting a little hot actually. Um, there's no more snow uh, as far as I can see. There's some little patches kind of on some of the slopes behind me, but that's all they are is patches. But um, this is the trail you can see in front of me. It's a beautiful day. And you can see the clouds up there. This cloud here looks like it might drop a little moisture. So I'm keeping an eye on that. Uh, but yeah, you can see a little bit of snow over on those uh, slopes over there, but that's about it. And you can even see Crystal Lake down there. I'm not sure if I can zoom in. I'll have to turn the camera around, actually flip it around to zoom, but uh, that's kind of cool, isn't it? I'm about a little tiny bit over halfway to Mount Islip. And yeah, it looks like the trail is just a gentle, uh, gradual uphill. So it's not uh, anything bad, but yeah, it's in. It's a lot easier for me to hike now and also walk and talk at the same time. But I'm also trying not to get too far ahead of Danielle because she's back there and I just want to make sure she's okay. But yeah, it's a good day. Okay. I didn't quite expect to see this, but it's kind of nice up here. There's a lot of water flowing in the creek. And that's uh, most likely snow melt. There was a lot of snow up here in this area. So the trail goes right across the creek here. And as you can see up there, that's where it's flowing down from. And then you can see even like another waterfall. Oh, another waterfall somewhere up there. I saw it. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, let's see. Really beautiful. sun is out again and I am now on the Islip Ridge Trail heading up to Mount Islip which I believe is right there so I'm a little less than a mile away from it and the trail is a little steep uh, a little gentle at times um, but I can see that once I get up to the peak or on that last slope getting up to the peak it's gonna get a little steep I've never hiked from ice or hike to ice slip from this direction before. Uh, I've only hiked to it off of the Angeles Crest Highway, off the two, but that highway has experienced some closures lately, and I'm not sure when it's going to open back up or if it's open. So, uh, since I've never done this route, I thought this was a good um, opportunity for us to try this one. But it's really beautiful. I actually like this route a lot and there was quite a bit of shade for a good part of the way, but now it's all exposed. So I don't, I think we're pretty much done with the shade. Unless maybe we go off trail a bit. But uh, no more cloud cover. Thankfully it's cooler up here now that we're closer to the top, but it's all exposed. But, 
and there's a lot of flies. Lots of them. Should have had my bug net, but I used a different backpack today and I wasn't thinking there would be flies like this. So the bug net's in the other backpack. Oh well. Almost there. All right, I'm pretty much at the top of Mount Islip right now. I'm like just below the actual peak. And this is now the trail. There was not any snow on the trail the whole way up. But now there's like a, a patch of snow here that I'm gonna have to figure out how to get through. I didn't bring any micro spikes, but it looks like there's some footprints in it already. So it should be okay. I'm gonna be very careful. And there's people coming down. I usually let people come down, but I'm coming up, so I have the right of way. So they're just gonna have to wait. And I'm post holing a little bit in these footprints, but it's okay. Oh, a few of it. Huh? A few of it. You didn't see it? A few of it. Oh. I only made one. Really, like a lot. Not this. Hello. 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 All right. Here I am. And somebody's got a drone, I think. Yep, there it is. I wish I could throw a rock up there and knock it down. I think drones are so intrusive. Yeah, I'm watching you drone. I wouldn't, I'm like really against drones, honestly, especially when other people are around because how does that person know other people want to be videoed or photographed? So they should show some respect. So here's the top. Finally made it. So despite the hideous sound of that drone, this is actually a beautiful day up here. I just want to knock it down. And there's the perpetrator. I'm so mean. That's just me. <laughs> Check out all the snow. It's quite a bit of snow still left, especially on the northern side of this peak, what I had to walk through. sitting outside so of Crystal Lake Cafe eating Frito pie. I've only eaten about half of mine or a little less than half. Danielle totally finished hers. I can't finish this. I'm gonna take the rest of it home. <laughs> and we're, it's, but look, it's raining. You can kind of see it. Yeah, you can see it in the video. And we're hearing thunder. It's right up there on the mountain, coming over the mountain. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's thundering right now. We haven't seen any lightning yet, but I'm sure it's there. But yeah, we finished our hike just in time because we kind of saw the clouds heading over the mountain and now they're coming over and it's a nice day.